Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys, it is time to play the Mad Dog, the Vulture, the 60 ton heavy missile mech of the clans. Now, why are we doing that? Because I want to play some ATMs today. And not any ATMs, because I wanted to play fast firing ATMs. And therefore the Mad Dog Age is very interesting because if you use all of the Age Omnipods you get some very interesting quirks. Look at that. We have a missile cooldown quirk of 5% uh, as well as a missile spread quirk of 5% on the left torso and then another 5% cooldown as well as a 5% velocity quirk on the right torso and if we use everything together you can see the 8 piece Omnipod bonus is negative 10% missile cooldown as well as 10% heavy laser duration which is also quite nice to have. Now that all, all together brings us to a missile cooldown of negative 20% on top of the 6%, 6.6% that are coming from the skills that we have applied, which means those things, they fire fast, they fire often, and they deal a good chunk of damage. Now, as all of you know, or many of you know, I don't know, uh, ATMs, actually deal more damage the closer you are until you're getting to that dead zone of 120 meters, which is kind of where you deal no damage at all anymore. So the damage diagram down there shows you the way. So up to 270 meters, uh, you are quite fine dealing three damage. And then up to like 500-ish meters, you deal two damage. And then beyond that, you deal only one damage. So you really want to be in a tight spot between 120 and 270 meters to actually deal three damage per missile and deal a good chunk of damage over time. We have attack helping us getting the locks faster, which is always good. We we have a clan active probe that's also pretty good to have and then we have a bunch of uh, small heavy lasers for self-defense they are not really dealing that much damage it's 6.5 per but they also have a pretty lengthy cooldown and they are just for point blank defense whenever somebody is really trying to go for us and push us to mitigate the damage output from our atms the mech is actually quite cold as well so we have a heat management of 1.6 which means that if you really want to you could drop those two double heat sinks here uh, actually, like those two, uh, yeah, and then um, replace the heavy smalls with heavy mediums if you wanted to. So you have a more, like a higher damage output, you can also shoot them at about 270 meters, the heavy medium lasers, and you can really add them to the damage dealing, but be aware you are losing heat sinks and you are adding the heat coming from the lasers and you will also shoot them more often probably because of the better range of the heavy mediums. Uh, here you can see them. Um, come on, there we go. So heat management wise, it's gonna be a little bit of it's gonna be a little bit tough. By the way, my rule of thumb for missiles for ATMs is three tons of ammo per twelve tubes. So I have uh, three in each side also. Kind of is good, and that's kind of the build. So let's dive into the skills before we get into the games. As you can see, we have a missile build, and we are going for all the missile nodes. That's kind of a no-brainer. On top of a good chunk of cooldown, because again, I wanted to fire fast. And velocity is also actually quite good, because our enemies will have less time to actually react to the missile warning when the missiles are traveling faster. And um, therefore, I usually include a good chunk of velocity in my missile builds as well. So I, I just deal more damage, relatively speaking. The laser duration nodes are kind of disputable. You don't necessarily need them, but they were kind of easily accessible on the way down. And uh, I mean, they are four points that you could also invest into something like armor hardening, a bit of skeletal density. I don't know. It's kind of hard using four points here and just get one point of armor hardening and nothing else really. But what you could do is you could use them uh, for more heat, more heat containment even, if you like to. And as you can see, I put a lot of emphasis on cool run, heat containment, and then my sensor tree. My sensor tree is filled with two things mainly. Actually three things. Rated approbation because I want to do some nice peeking games. And we have seismic sensor one and two so I can see if somebody is trying to close in on us that I don't see yet. So I can... Uh, I can see through the walls with that. It's kind of like our little wall hack. Only on the minimap. And then we have target decay. And that is really helpful because it means that our locks will still maintain. Although we have broken line of sight to our target yet. Also, two cool shots keep us cold. We have uh, two UAVs to actually give us passive locks. And that's kind of it, guys. That's a build for Mad Dog. It really deals a good chunk of damage. And guys, if you happen to like the video, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you want more of that. And now it's finally time to hit the battlefield. All right. First game of the day. We are playing the Frozen City and we are playing Domination. I don't go into the circle. That's not my spot. Down there, I am food for everybody who is trying to get on the high ground and uh, kind of deal damage at mid to long range to me. No, I want to be in the city and I want to be here in the Fox 7 area. Leave the circle to the light max to contest that thing. And then when enemies are in there, then just shoot the enemies and the countdown will stop. So that's kind of the battle plan. And um, yeah, we need to find some enemies around. I saw somebody earlier down here. They are seemingly going over to the other side of the battlefield. But uh, I want to see what we can make happen here on, on this side. 
So we'll check it out. We have a bunch of people coming with us, which is really good, guys. So, yeah, there we go. There's a guy already. There's a champion. Is he alone, though? He might be. He might not be. We will see about that in a second. Also, it's a champion. Has a lot of armor. I'm gonna wait. Oh god, this is too exposed here. Uh, I'm gonna wait here because I expect the champion to try to regroup, but there is a crap. Yeah, and that was not great. So I took a bit of damage here. 2% only. But yeah, we have been compromised. We have been spotted, guys. Let's go and uh, try to retaliate and get some damage in while... Ooh, wow, that's that's way too close now, right? I mean, is it? I thought so. There we go. That's perfect damage. Medium pulse on the champion. And he is completely caught off guard here. We have so many people. And of course, our ATMs are flying. Lasers not really on point. Uh, mounts are too low, but we can arc the missiles around like that. And we can deal some great, great damage against the champion still. I was hoping that we could actually rip a bit of uh, his torso apart. But I think uh, that's coming That's coming way later. Uh, come on, man. Oh, give me a steady lock here. It doesn't happen. So what we're going to be doing now is we will go for the Orion. That thing has to go. He is running an LB20 and that's a brawler. And <laughs> holy shit, man. That is crazy. There's so much damage floating. Okay. I think we got him. Yeah, that guy is dead. That's also... Wait, that's a friend, guys. Is it? Yeah, it was. It definitely was. What about that guy? Lots of lerms targeted my face. I don't like it. Whoa. Wow, well, can we get that UAV down? I don't know. Um, but I do know that I want the crab down there. So let's go ahead and kill him. Get some missiles in. Trying to mitigate the retaliation by just hugging the wall. But that's about it. That's what I can do. So nothing really on this flank. Here's our friend the champion. Get Alpha, guys. Alpha is almost dead. Uh, yeah, and then we have the missiles coming from the UAV. Being the spotter for my enemies. There's no back, there's no forth, and we have that stupid thing up. Which means, um, dudes, uh, there are two enemies in uh, Echo 7. I want to get them. It's a Sun Spider and something else. I think a crab. Uh, here, yeah, they're shooting missiles constantly at us. Alright, let's go for it. Come on, buddy. You want to get some missiles out? I want to get some missiles out as well, but I have the better ones. So, let's, uh, let's trade some hits. I need 120 meters, though. 120 is my dead zone, and now we go in. Perfect. So, strike is coming down, which means I have to push through in order to pursue him. Oh, there's another guy coming in. That's the crab. All right, let's go for it. I think he is alone here. Definitely worth the cool shot, and we're gonna keep dealing damage. He knows that I'm ATM, so... Yeah, but I have friends... Oh, I have no friends around. Never mind! Good job there, buddy. Can we knock him? Mm, no, 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 no. Get that crap out of my face here. <laughs> All right, so, using him my left side... Um, yo, that crap is still on my tail. Get him away. Get him away. <laughs> I thought I had friends with me. Come on, just eat him up, man. He's just shut down. There we go. We got him. Fine. That was, uh, that was about time, I gotta say. So, we are almost down. We have lost a lot of armor, but our weapon systems are still intact. And we have 300 missiles that wait for armor to connect to. So, let's go ahead and do that. The enemies are in the circle now, which means we gotta push back. And... Um, yeah, just kill all of them. I mean, it's 7-2. It seems pretty good already. Let me see if I can hit that. Oh, yeah, that guy. That guy is good. Big center torso portion. And, uh, is he going in again? Yeah, he is. So, we're gonna twist. Is that my arm? That's my side torso. Wow, good shot there, buddy. Where's my team again, though? Um, I'm missing a lot of firepower here that is supporting while going in. Not that I kind of called for it, but I'm, I'm not mad at them, but I'm like, where is everybody? It's a 7-2 situation. Everybody technically should go in now and just mob them up, kill the rest of them. But yeah, they're coming. They're coming, but very slowly. All right, so this guy's gonna wreck me. I Got some laser still. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's fair. It's absolutely fine. I mean, 8-2. We're not, we're not throwing a game that is 8-2, right? Are we? Nah, we are not. 9 and 3 now. There is the rifleman coming in again. And these guys are kind of pushing relentlessly. Holy crap. He's underrunning my minimum distance. I have nothing to defend myself with. Take him out! It's taking you so long. There we go. Thank you. So, 10 and 4. So, two enemies still on board. We have 28% uh, of our mech left and still one ATM-12. So, let's see if we can help out by just shooting the Arctic. Nope, never mind. Um, <laughs> 11 and 4. A UAV above our heads. Not great. But the timer is ticking. That means uh, our enemies are not in the circle, which are... Oh, wait, they are in right now. And we can still hit them. Uh, no, not behind the building. But he's gonna come out again, right? I'm gonna shoot that. Come on, missiles! Yeah, we dealt some damage. We got an assist out of that. That's good. And I mean, we are shooting at our maximum range, so each missile deals one damage only. But it's one damage only, so... 
um, at the very least, we are contributing to the fight still, which is kind of nice. I'm gonna just sit here. Countdown is ticking down anyway, and we have it done in 2, 1. There we go. Even got the last skill here. So that was pretty good. I mean, uh, we invested a lot of our mech to catch the Sun Spider and the crap there. Pushing through that artillery strike is not really advice, but I was like, you know what? We have a great momentum going on. Stopping it now would give them time to actually reconvene, and I didn't want to give them that. So we got zero killing blows, but five kill most damage dealt with 909 damage and eight, uh, yeah, eight assists. 443 damage taken and two components destroyed and that was the first round so let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down all right second game of the day we are playing what is that here the money collective we are playing uh, skirmish and it might be that a lot of people are sitting in echo 5 waiting for us to come so i don't know if i want to go there yet we have a bunch of people here they are kind of mostly skirmishers so it seems and there's a mad dog on the other side so we're gonna say hi to the street dog and then we're gonna go Alrighty, so, is that the time where we're gonna go over? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't wanna... I don't wanna take the top, really. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's a mistake. That's a big mistake, guys. That's not great. I'm gonna try to get out of this. I, I was expecting it. My instincts were flawless. And here's what we get. A lot of damage without even dealing so much. So, we're gonna peek around here. Maybe that helps. Hi, Mr. High Ground Dude. Uh, that's, that's out of... Is it out of... I don't know if it's out of. We definitely deal some damage against the LRM5 Dervish. Nice one. Um, but yeah, it seems like we are forced. We are forced out of this. Guys, the top is not takeable. They have everybody up there. That is not, not doable at all. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to take a little bit of range here. And... Oh, uh, no, people are rotating. Oh, no, why? Oh, guys, I hate it. I hate it so much. We are, we are rotating. It seems like it. Okay, so, Sun Spider, let's go. Maybe we can deal a bit of damage here, tiny, tiny amounts, and uh, try our best. I mean, we have some vision there, which means we can deal some damage, but um, it's, honestly, it's not much. What I can do, however, is I can try to put a UAV up, maybe that helps, and uh, yeah, now we see that everybody's clumped up there, and we have made full circle. So, is it enough to just go in their backs now? I don't think so, because we are attracting fire here again, and they just turn around at this point. And, and lure us into into misery and death. Oh, wait. No, wait. That's the opposite of misery and death. That's kind of a kill, actually. And we are in the back of Mr. Medium Laser Warhammer. Pushing top now. Pushing top. Let's go. I'm... Um, oh, God. We have to. We still have to. That's the thing. Um, all right. So, a bunch of people are in the open. And they are kind of rotating with us. Uh-huh. 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 I also got hit by a Gauss, which I really didn't like. But okay. Um, ah, too far away. That's the drawback of the, the smalls here, the heavy smalls. Dervish is one shot. Come on, you're gonna get it, right. And I'm gonna go for the champion. We are the champions. Absolutely. Couldn't shoot over there. I do believe I can hit the panther, though. And, yeah, might be. Yeah, we got him. Nice, five and three. This is still going? Okay, hello, Mr. Mr. Warhammer. No, oh, you're LBX, which is kind of really bad. Give me that side. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, we got him. I mean, we are we are actually still alive. Getting shot from all angles, though. So, let's try to find cover. There was somebody on the high ground, right? Yeah, it's that guy. It's the Mad Cat. Let's give him hell and try to dive down to cover again. Oh, they're making a push happen. But I am not one of their targets. I'm in their flank now. What? That's it, though. Yeah, that's the side towards a gun. I did what I could. So, um, we dealt 600 damage nonetheless, although it was kind of hard to find my spot here. Wow. That was, um, that's actually quite respectable, honestly. So, 9 and 7, uh, 9 and 8, this is a very close game. Wow. I mean, they're still a champion, and that champion still has a good chunk of armor, but we also have a Vapor Eagle with a bunch of ATMs. He can do it if he finds his spot. Come on, buddy, just disengage. You can do it. Uh, but everybody's on his tail. Um, what else do we have? There's a Warhammer with large pulses and ear mediums. Um, I mean, we got another kill. That's good. But he's kind of out of the fight right now. I mean, he needs to reposition if he wants to get anything done. Or wait for these guys to come in. He's playing it super safe. Waiting for our friends to kind of lure our enemies and die in the process. But here comes the Fafnir. That's what he was waiting for. And oh, he's gonna eat a fistful of Buckshot. Come on, it's a 10 and 10 scenario, and I don't know if he can do it with his laser barrage alone. 
Uh, there's the Fafnir. Well, well spotted. But you gotta, you gotta be more aggressive. There's more. You gotta find your angle. There's also somebody coming in. All of them Echo 5. One Fafnir and a the Kid Fox? No. That's an Ice Ferret. Alright, so Ice Ferret lost, I think, a side torso, which is actually quite good. Wow! What a game. Again, this guy is playing it, like, super safe. And it kind of works to some extent. He's, he's actually anticipating the Ice Ferret doing a flanking maneuver while the, the big one, the Fafnir, is making this kind of hammer anvil move. And I don't know who is hammer and who is anvil here. We certainly have this Fafnir closing in with, with his LB axis. And there's one more shot needed. One big alpha strike to the center torso. Uh, a well-placed alpha strike. Oh no. Oh no. That's so close, man. Cool shot. Power down. Oh boy. What else do we have? That ATM guy. Oh yeah, there he is, man. Come on. Get the ferret. Yes, I like it. That is, uh, that Fafnir is everywhere. It's, it's weak everywhere. Holy macaroni. So, the people are trying to get back together. What a thriller. Where is the, where's the Ice Ferret? Still has his ECM though, that's the problem. And, oh yeah, there yeah, he's close, he's super close. Look at that low signal. He's, uh, Ice Ferret is in the tunnel, Echo 6. Um, uh, what else guys, what else? There's a Fafnir still, kind of hiding somewhere. He probably wants to find another angle. And I believe that the Ice Ferret is coming in right now. Like, right now. Come on, he has to be somewhere. Alright, swapping over to the other perspective again. There is the Fafnir, give him one shot! And that's the kill. Perfect. So, those two have to deal with the ferret. That's the that was important, guys. So, where is the ferret? What a game, guys. That is so cool to watch right now. Because I believe, yeah, the ferret has all means to actually get that Vapor Eagle down. And then it's only the Warhammer lab. Shots were coming from Echo 5-ish. Uh, Echo 5, Delta 5. Um, Alright, let's see. That is a laser ferret. And it still has ECM, which is currently its benefit. Which means... Our... Oh, there's a UAV. Not bad. Alright, so one more shot. That UAV has... Ooh, boy. I said it. Shots are coming from this direction. The UAV has 10 health and the laser only deals, I think, 6. So... Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, he's large laser. Delta 4. Delta 4. It's hiding behind that... Uh, that crate or whatever that was. Uh, it's kind of like a little, little bunker there. Oh, no. This is really bad. He's actually using his range advantage. So let's see if our Vapor Eagle can actually make this flanking maneuver happen and try to get in his side without being spotted. That's the big problem. His center doors. Ah, oh, there he is. All right. Uh, yeah, he's out in the open now. Delta 5-ish. He's going for Delta 5. Um, right side. Delta 5, Delta 6. <laughs> he's just chilling there, rotating. Heading Echo 6, yeah. I don't know if Mr. Gehemanet is actually listening. He better, he better had listened, man. We were calling it. But it was a very good game. I really liked being in that. I was, uh, it was crazy. I was so messy in the early game. And then the late game was so close. Nevertheless, we got two killing blows, seven assists, two kill most damage dealt, 600 damage done, 400 taken with four components destroyed. And that, my friends, was your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please do me a favor. Click that like button, smash it hard. Uh, follow me if you want more of that. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.